God loves you. He loves us. I had an open vision. I saw this big mansion in the kingdom. Purple. And the royalty of God. But then I saw myself standing as the gatekeeper, open. And to see all the souls that I was touching and that would be touched, enter, entering that gate as the gatekeeper, far outweighed, was far greater riches, was more fulfilling than me being at the pinnacle and throne on the top of that mansion. God is in every facet of your innermost being, waiting to be discovered, waiting to reveal himself, waiting to express himself, longing to give you unfathomable joy so that you can worship him in that joy and he can embrace that worship. The Holy Spirit is pure the love of a mother, the nurturing of a mother. Your Heavenly Father, the discipline of a father, the chastising of a father. Going on a fishing trip with the Father. Scripture is true. The Word of God changes you, it humbles you, it keeps you. True spirituality of the Lord, of Jesus, is the greatest realm, the most free place to be. If there's something within your mind or in your life you're struggling, you're fighting with, and there is religion in between that. Until you experience full freedom, and thrive in that freedom. There was a demon of religion that needs to be out of the way. And I take the sword of the spirit and I cut the head of all religious demons in your way, in your path off now. And they cannot remain in this glory. And they cannot remain in his presence. Every word I speak comes to pass. Nothing shall fall to the ground, but this harvest shall scatter. It's found in the sound and the release. There are keys the Father has given me that unlock dimensions that I operate in whenever I desire. Just as your vehicle, you have the keys to drive whenever you desire. And just as your home, you have the keys to enter and dwell whenever you desire. Palm trees of blessing. I'm in the spirit right now so strongly and everything is perfect. Everything is complete. Because I am aware it's nothing I've done. It's nothing I will do. It's what he's already done and who I am in this state of being, not trying not using my effort, but being who God says I am. This fluid opens the mind, so we double that to open the mind even greater, where God is released, waiting to be released. Our religion binds God. Our religion puts Jesus in shackles. Our religion quenches the Holy Spirit. But freedom is spirit. Not a place, not a location, not a job, not a financial situation, not an income in your bank account, not even increase in your life. Freedom is spirit. That only the Holy Spirit can provide. Spirituality without the Holy Spirit is not spiritual at all. 
And the Holy Spirit is the life and the essence and the wind and the breath of true living. In health, you become aware of this. When you meditate, you become aware of this. When you fast, you become aware of this. One greater achievement that has been unlocked in my spirit is a deepening trust in the Lord and not leaning to my own understanding, not trying to figure out, but trust. Trusting in the Lord with all thy heart will take you so deep in the Father will take you so far in the spirit, further and further. These are all bullets and keys. I had a phenomenal night last night, a supernatural night, a divine night, a night of exploration in the Lord. I had fun with Jesus. I had fun with the angels. I had an exciting time in the Holy Spirit. And nothing can take this away from me. No trial can strip me from this. No power of evil can destroy this. This is the hand of God. Amen. This is spirit. Jesus is the farmer. The Holy Spirit is the tool that turns the tulips, that fades away the carrot, the outer layer, that opens up the soil, that mends the roots, that pours the spirit of life, and call forth growth and rise, and power and honor and glory from the Father in this. They're one together that meet in the tabernacle of meeting. It's the existence of our reality. And the dwelling place of the Most High is the secret shadow of his wings, which is light. It's a reflection inwardly to see that unapproachable light and that you dwell in eternally. So mother is the incubator of the life. So is the Father and the Holy Spirit. Trust will get you there. The battle belongs to the Lord. When you try to take the battle into your own hands, you're going against the word. And that's why you experience pressure you can't handle. Dark powers come against you because you give them an opening. But when you completely surrender the fight to him, you will experience the most high move upon your behalf. And all that the kingdom is, you will come to realization that you've been walking in this the whole time. It was already yours. It was already fulfilled. It was already accomplished. It was already defeated. It was already given. It was already stated. It was already spoken. And this wandering, and this traveling in the spirit, these locations of God, 70% of the earth is water, 70% of your body is water states of your mind, countries of your being. Everything you see out is within. Everything you want, the desire has been filled within. Everything you experience is flowing within. The Holy Spirit. The essence, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the blood of the Lamb, the power of the Holy Spirit, The fluid of the Holy Spirit, the cup of the Spirit, the blood that pours into that cup, the golden arrays of the Father aligned on that cup, His girdle, His four armor surrounding that cup of our souls, 
pour out that splash out. His energy is himself. His presence is himself. This awareness and this state of reality in the spirit is quite magnificent. It's as if standing over a balcony in a 7,000 foot building, 500 stories high and just laughing and rejoicing. But yet in this childlikeness, in this lowliness, be yet in the silence is the heights of God. The Holy Spirit will recognize where we reward, will let you know the Father is pleased, will let you know you're on the right path, will let you know when you're entering into a greater realm, you will feel it, you will know it. These gentle, marvelous hands of the Lord, clothed in holiness, robed in righteousness. It's a wonderful sight to be. It's a glorious place to be, to listen to what he's saying, to attend unto his voice to dedicate unto his ways, which is his word, to follow scripture is to follow God, to chase the word is to chase the father. The playground, playing with the Lord, having a good time in it, something we often stray from. So the ministry becomes a burden. Our walk becomes so much pressure. Because if it's all about power but no intimacy, you are dry and deprived. So are we. I come to the tree of life and I drink of the fruit, the oil, the life, the leaf, the wine it produces. I come in all truth, all righteousness, pure in Christ, and I taste of the new age to come, the new Jerusalem, the new heaven and earth, now, in this present moment. I come in perfect surrender, absolute resolve, complete focus, ascended on all states, all completion of the cross. I am that I am. I know who I am in Christ. Therefore I dwell in the presence of the Father, always and forever, in my inner being, outward, upon my life, in my life. I go. Your throne is before me always. And I am beholding your beauty. Always. Beholding your glory forever. This is my portion, my cup, my inheritance, my God. I have access to all of you. Your kingdom is my home. You are who, what I am. The blood, that's my registration. I drink from the waterfalls of Jesus. I sip on the very essence of the Holy Spirit. I dwell in eternal riches. I am that I am. Fully restored with a greater restoration every moment. A new experience in heaven every moment. A new face, a new side of my God every moment. 
New joy every moment. New expression every moment. Magnifying you in this magnification every moment. It is done and it is finished. We stay in that realm of supercharge. Becoming unto you, one with you. Forever and ever is the melody. Amen is the completion. Hallelujah is the praise. The tree of life, the ancient of days. Worthy is the Lamb, the 24 elders. Bow before him. Seated on his throne, beholding all things, being all things, seeing all things. Such a perfect place to be. Oh, what we have in Jesus. Oh, what we have in Jesus. Oh, what we have in Jesus. Holy, the rivers, they speak. The angels, they talk. Baskets at the picnic. The roadway is clear. The purity of a child, I can hear the sound calling. The laughter of children all over the place. The wedding groom has made herself ready. Our hearts are all binded and connected in this union with the Father. No separation. No more sin. No more sickness. No more tears. No more pain. No more death. Nothing but life and its totality. Health in its fullness. God expressing in each and every one of us. In Mount Zion, where we try it. No such thing as distractions here. No such thing as failures here. No such thing as defeat here. Former things have passed. Everlasting life is now in Christ. The kingdom of heaven is now in Christ. Our riches and glory and fulfillment is now in Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. delivers us, we've been delivered, set free. I love Jesus because when I go from the heights of the mountain, climb down, climb up, to being a base and childlike and ceasing from my own knowledge, and becoming nothing, for that is where great wisdom dwells. I love Jesus because his heart is intercharged with every heart of humanity. The heart of the earth, the heart of creation, and the heart of life, 
the heart of the animals, the heart of the sound, and the heart of the production. He beats the beat, the heartbeat. It's the core of God. I love Jesus because he doesn't try anything. For he is always the purest of simplicity. The lowliness of the lowest. He fulfills all that. Not just the heights, but the depths. Not just the rise, but the lowliness. He fulfills all that. An absolute golden glory and pure holiness. I love Jesus. Because he always directs and glorifies the Father. One in the Son. The Holy Spirit is and becomes. I love Jesus. As I talk about him, as I trust him, as I go through him, as I overcome in him, as I decree in him, as I become in him, it is all forms of who he is, revealing, manifesting, and taking dwelling in me. And all his achievement is mine, all his power is mine, his rule and his reign is mine. And that is what he has longed to show me. And I feel the splash in the spirit. And I love Jesus. His name is above all names. His very name holds the key to everything, the essence to everything, the vault of everything, the code to everything, the program of everything. All books to ever be written all life that will ever take, all souls that ever come to salvation, his name holds all that. And that's just what he holds, but who he is is greater and greater and greater. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the favor upon your hand. I thank you that it was never so. The illusion of darkness, and failure, and that is not my identity. I belong to you. I appreciate you, you're beautiful, you're eloquent, your touch is so loving, you surround me with your embrace, you cherish me with your love, you fulfill me with your calling, you breathe life on me, every moment of every moment of every moment, you take me there and show me greater. You take me here and show me deeper. You point in all directions just to give unto me. You wait patiently for me. Just to hold me. You're so pure. You're so pure. You're so rewarding. You're so awesome. You're so attractive. You are dedication. You are my lifestyle. You are my hope and my trust. You are the face that looks to the Father in delight and allows Him to pour all Himself on us. I thank you for everything because you are everything. You're my mother, my father, my sex, my love, my happiness, my joy, my pleasure, my being, 
my home, my game, my opportunity, my door, the roof, the crawl, the rise, the stand. The sequence to my thoughts, the beauty of every rose that has been laid upon me, the treasure and the increase and reach of every diamond that's been stored in me, the keeper and the releaser of all the knowledge that's been stored in me, the God that's been revealed in me. And I love you. You're wonderful. You reign at the perfect time. You show up at the perfect time. You manifest at the perfect time. You give at the perfect time. You shine at the perfect time. You bring at the perfect time. You are my house. My keeper. My dwelling, my night, my sila, my thirst, my taste, my devotion, my meditation, my certificate, my trophy. You are, I am that I am. You're beautiful. Handsome. Adoring. This is where it's at. This is where it's found. Your. Greater and greater and greater intimacy. Wider and wider and wider love. Higher and higher and higher depths of love. Lower and lower and lower heights of love. History of love. This wedding, these vows, this carpet, this banquet, this new wine, this apostolic mantle, this prophetic mantle, is my closet. You are my clothes, you are my gates, my chamber. I absorb you, I accept you, I receive you.